another email come in? You're watching the mailbox. I'm used to Festus. Here's a good one. <laughs> he says that there's a boy, a teenage boy, and he wants to have a girlfriend so that he can have sex. Okay. Well, that's pretty direct, all right. Okay. Here on the mailbox, yeah. Islam forbids any type of physical relationship, boy, girl, except in marriage, especially sex, because this is something very personal, very private, and it's something that is restricted for rights, so that the man and women have their rights and the children have their rights. When you get married, you want to get married to someone who has also been pure and clean. You don't need to have a marriage to someone who has been going around with other people. One of the things this does, it hurts psychologically. You worry all the time, well, how is this person comparing me to about the other person and how come somebody else has been intimate with my wife? I don't like that. And this is why a lot of times brothers don't want to get married to a woman who is a divorcee or one who is a widowed woman. Because when this takes place, they still think about, well, she had another husband before me. So how about she had boyfriends before you? This, of course, is not working out. The same is true for the girl. She says, why should I accept a man who's been going around doing all this stuff? And certainly this is not right in Islam. And it's called adultery or zina. And it's forbidden in Islam. Now, a young boy came to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and asked him to give him permission to do this very thing that this young man is asking about now, to have a girlfriend to do this. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked him a question. Look how nice he treated this boy. He asked him a question. He said, would you like that somebody would do this with your sister? Oh, no way, he says. Would you like someone would do this with your mother? Oh, oh, this is unbelievable or your aunt, or your daughter, if you have a daughter, would you, oh, no way. And he said, you know, every girl is the daughter of somebody. Huh? And every mother is also uh, the daughter of somebody. So how could you do such a thing as this and realize what you're doing? He said, oh, oh, oh. Then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, put his hand on him, his chest, and he made dua for him. He prayed for him to ask Allah to protect him from this. And do you know it was said that after that, this boy never, ever did something like that and he hated that idea more than anything else. So Allah guided him away from adultery and kept him away from this type of thing. And it's really important for us to realize that this is something, it's not in Islam, but it's also not in Christianity or in Judaism either. Check out our website, islamnewsroom.com and type in these keywords. And that's the end of Mailbox for now. Till next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.